Hi everyone, I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to Extra Thims. My name's Holly and I'm one of the team of contributors here. Today I'm going to talk about something which, for me, as I found is a really exciting topic, and that is shopping. Today I'm going to be talking about shopping on a budget or when you're not wanting to spend a lot of money. If I can get something for less, I'm all for it. I'm just going to be sharing some of my top tips on how to shop on a budget, how to save money while shopping and all that sort of stuff. So my number one thing would be know when the sales are, as some shops only have sales, you know, four times a year, so seasonally. Other stores have sales all year round. Urban Outfitters has sales all year round they have in their physical stores a portion of every store is like the sale section and that is a great one for if you're looking to get something that's a little bit less expensive as somewhere like Urban Outfitters um, the price point is that a bit higher but the sale section of the store is obviously going to be cheaper. Another fab example of this is an online example and that's ASOS. ASOS have sales on all year round. It may not be obvious to find on the website but so the most simple thing is just type in Google ASOS sale and it'll come up like at the top of the search and on there again it would be everything on ASOS that is in the sale that has got money off. Another way of shopping on a budget whether you're you know you just don't have very much money at the moment or whether you want to save for a specific event or you just want to save money in general is to avoid shops that you know the price point is that bit, bit more expensive. So whether that is Topshop, Zara, River Island, places like that, the prices of the of clothes are that bit more expensive. So keep away from those. Places like Primark, New Look, H&M, the price is that bit cheaper. And those stores in the past, you know, the clothes maybe weren't great, but nowadays the clothing ranges are amazing. The designs and the trends and the types of clothing and the styles of clothing are up to the same level as maybe the more expensive shops. If you're really into a certain style of clothing, those shops, even though the prices are that bit lower, are still likely to have them. And those sorts of stores also tend to have more available, um, bigger ranges, lots of different styles, because they know they have more a more varied customer base, so there's always something for everyone. The next tip is for the online shoppers watching this. I am an online shopper. Online shopping is like my bread and butter. I, am much, I don't really like physical shopping as much. Um, is to, when you're looking online, if you're looking for something specific, change the filter at the top of the page to go from low to high. Um, this normally only really works if you're looking at in a specific section like dresses or jackets or play suits. If you're kind of just in the new in, then you may end up just getting like the rings for uh, like 10 minutes. Um, but if, you, you know, if you're looking for something specific like a jacket or a dress or a pair of shoes, you know, switch the filter, go from low to high because it can really surprise you how nice some of the items are that are, are those that are considered lower end and therefore the websites, because of how they are designed and built, those items are going to be the last ones that they show you because obviously the companies want you to spend more money because then they make more profit. So always if you're shopping on a budget or you're wanting to save or you're not wanting to spend a huge amount, change the filter, start from low, low to high because you just never know what's going to come up. Another tip, this may sound obvious, but is to always shop in the sales. And if you're like me and in-store sales shopping can be really overwhelming for you, is go online. Online sales shopping is so much easier, so much more comfortable. You can do it from the comfort of your own sofa, in your jammers, in your dressing gown. Um, and you can take your time. You know, often they have thousands upon thousands of things in their sales. So always check out the sales section. On the web, on websites, you know, if you've had your eye on something for a while, maybe, and you know that a potential sale is coming up, maybe wait wait it out, as you can often pick things up for much cheaper in, in the sales than they were, you know, like two weeks before. The next tip I've got may sound really, really strange, and that is if if it's summer. Don't just look for summer items in the sales, look for winter items. So an example of this is I picked up this amazing faux fur coat, um, winter coat obviously. Absolutely massive, really, really warm, really snuggly, perfect for winter in the UK. I picked that up in the June or July summer sale. I was just browsing the coat and it came up and I, I was like, wow. It originally was over £100 and I got it for, for over half price. And coats like that can be, you know, 
100, 200 pounds because that they're, they're super popular, they're really on trend and the quality is normally pretty good because they are made to withstand the winter weather in the UK. So I picked it up in the, in the June, July summer sale for like a super incredible discount and what I did was I just put it in the back of my wardrobe and then started wearing it when it got cold in September. And yeah, it meant that I had something in my wardrobe that I didn't wear for a couple of months but actually it saved me so much money. And so I would highly recommend you know, in the summer sales see what winter items they've got, in the winter sales see what summer items they've got. You know, it, you can save crazy amounts of money by shopping that way. Um, and then all you have to do is stick it in a drawer, stick it in your wardrobe, stick it in a box for a couple of months and then crack it out and you know, you've know you saved a lot of money on stuff that, that that maybe at the time you would have spent way more on and you've got yourself a bargain, you've saved some money and you've picked something up that maybe other people don't have because it's a, a little bit older but often you know trends and styles and things like that carry on for a couple of years you know at least two years so even if something you brought something in the summer it'll still be pretty pretty banging for the winter anyway. Another great way of saving money when you're maybe shopping on a budget or you're trying to save is to sign up to the newsletters of brands. Okay, you may get spammed a little bit in your inbox. However, you'll regularly get sent 10%, 20% off, even 30% off codes just randomly. Um, you may also, you know, be the f you may get emails 24 hours before a sales coming on to say, hey, here's a link, check everything out that's going to be in the sale and it'll go in the next day. And doing that means that you kind of you often get the best deals. If brands know that you are a regular customer, that you are, you know, a loyal customer, if you have given them your email address um, and allowed them, you know, to put you on their email list or in their newsletter, they will they'll reward you and give you discount codes, give you money off, give you free delivery and things like that. And that can really save you save you a lot of money in the long run, especially if you're looking for something specific, whether it's for a wedding, whether it's for a party, if you're looking for you know things for a holiday or for a new job, it can really save you a lot of money um, having 10, 20, 30% discount codes. Or if you know when a sale's coming up, then you can sort of choose the items you want before you know it starts and then all you have to do the next day is put them in your basket. And it's a really nice way of hassle-free shopping while still getting a bit of a discount. Another thing I find is that if I am on a budget and I don't want to spend a lot of money then I will just like not shop. I know that sounds really daft um, but often especially if I'm trying to save I will actively avoid going to the shopping centre. If you're like me and you're a bit of a magpie and you walk past a shop and you see something in the window next thing you know you're like in the changing rooms with trying on like the sick thing. Try and avoid the shopping centre you know when you go to shopping centres or you know at your local high street, temptation is everywhere. So if you're trying to save, you know, avoid it a little bit. Maybe go to the park or go for dinner or you know, do something a little bit different. If something's not right in front of you, it's a lot easier to ignore. Again, that links back to one of my tips earlier of if you know that you're shopping on a budget, don't walk into the most expensive shop in your shopping centre. Check out your H&Ms and your Primarks and your new looks and shops around that price point because they are going to be that little bit cheaper and that little bit easier on the purse strings. Another great way of saving money is buying secondhand. Now I know that there is a really big stigma attached with buying secondhand but A it's really good for the environment and B nowadays especially with apps such as Depop and websites like Amazon you can get incredible quality clothes from really popular high street stores for like way less than half the price and often these clothes have only been worn once or sometimes I've never even been worn. Someone I followed on Instagram I checked out her Depop and she was selling stuff from like Misguided and Zara that she would literally never worn and just couldn't be bothered to send back and you know, that's a really great way of picking up new, current, really fun and cool items of clothing for way less. And it's, again, a really it's easy way, it's really easy on the purse strings. And because um, apps like Depop are on your phone, it's really easy to just scroll through and check them out whilst you're watching the TV or whilst you're having your dinner. You know, it's hassle-free, it's fuss-free. Um, and you can get some incredible bargains, which is what, you know, who doesn't love a bargain? So those are just a few of my tips and advice on shopping on a budget or when you're trying to save of how to pick up the best bargains and things like that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to sh check out the other incredible co items of content videos, blog posts and all sorts that are on X for them. So there's so much fab stuff from contributors like me. Um, there's a massive team of us and there's so much content available for you guys. So make sure you check it all out. 
hope you have a really great day and I hope you guys are doing really well. Bye. Music and life to the full. X Rhythms.